I am simply saying why this is ill intention. The argument that, you see, there is a difference between leading the opposition in parliament and the opposition caucus of parliament. All the members in parliament can form a caucus and get a leader for it, for the caucus. Mm. That is not the rope. Yes, as Rumo's bill is going on, Kanoki Zabesj has also come out to give his sentiments on this bill. So far, I've done several videos talking on this bill, pointing on, pointing out on why I think Honorable Mu brought this bill in a bad spirit, because he feels like Joe Sonyoni wasn't supposed to be where he is, because he feels like NUP is not rising up to the standards he himself said. We all know that R Rumu's bill was brought on the floor of parliament to curtail or to cut the powers of the leader of opposition, but also to bring an election in this context. And in my view, it is aimed at cutting the wings of Bobby Wayne and also cutting the wings of NUP. Because Rumu is a close confidant to Honorable Mpuga. When they changed Honorable Mpuga, some people felt bad. Some people think that, that they are entitled for the, uh, for, the oppo for the position, the opposition. That's why I keep on telling people that some, some of these leaders in the opposition are taking opposition as a job where they are supposed to die. When Honorable Bebuen came into parliament, he didn't even spend there three years. And trust me, even if he wanted to come back in election, he would win, but he decided to go and fight for a bigger picture. That's why all these suckers is, is coming. So in this episode, I've come to talk about the comments of Kiza Besija against Honorable's bill, what it means for our politics, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube. Type in Sula Mawagari. There's a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So we all know that Honorable Rum, Rum asked for leave of parliament to draft a change in the Parliamentary Administration Act. His main aim was to remove Joe Sonyoni because in the initial stages he came out to say that Joe Sonyoni is not, he first complained that Joe Sonyoni is not honoring his meetings, blah, blah. Joe Sonyoni is opposed to regional seatings. And this birthed this bill. He asked the speaker and guru and speaker gave him a leeway. Yet, the same speaker denied other people to talk about issues in the regional sittings. Now he brought up the bill with some changes, which I think were aimed at sanitizing it, but the main aim was to change on the way how the leader of opposition is picked. And now, this bill is in the committee stages. When Kiza Besija was asked, he gave his view, and I think the, his view is very clear. He said these statements. I want you to play. I want me. To, I want you to listen th to this video very well because it's going to form a basis of this video. Here, here is the tape. Position. Every party has its different political platform, which is fine, which is advocated, and prepares leaders to implement that particular program. So, that's why you cannot have an election by all parties on who will lead the opposition. Because every party has different, a different, a different program. Mm. What leads the opposition must be the dominant policy platform within the opposition. It forms the official opposition. So the law, the leader of opposition, must be from the dominant opposition party. So that is 
Kizabes Yaz was giving his views on the election of the leader of opposition. And I think he's right. You know, the leader of opposition is, the, is taken as the second runners up in an election. In fact, my ID, ideal candidate of the leader of opposition must be the second runners up in an election. But that cannot be brought by Honorable Borumu because it has, a, 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 it, it has an attachment on the exchequer. And anything that brings an extra cost on the revenues of, of a country is supposed to be brought by government. So Honorable Borumu is trying to change the Administration Act where they can bring an election on the leader of opposition. Remember, in our constitution, the leader of opposition is equivalent to the Prime Minister, I think. I remember in our constitution, a Prime Minister is nominated by the President and verified by the, the House, and that is the Parliament. If Rumu is suggesting that the leader of opposition, the party must bring three names, now the same things must apply to the leading party, that in, on, in each and every ministry, three names must be brought up out for ministers so that the parliament can elect ministers. And I think this can't pass. Even I think, my sister told me that Honorable Rumu is, is, is trying to find a way on how to drop this thing because it was in bad spirit. Okay? Because they feel like Bobby Wine should not lead the opposition. Because they feel like Jerry Sonyoni is a junior who's, who's, supposed, who's, not, who's not supposed to lead parliament. And for me, I keep on telling people that ever since NUP came into parliament, Jerry Sonyoni has done a tremendous job. Puga used to talk a lot, but in the, I think in sheds he would work with the regime. You clearly see that the regime is opposed to Jerry Sonyoni to an extent of bringing a change in a parliamentary administration. So by Kiza Besije coming out to point out this is right. In fact, in another interview he came out to say that if the entire opposition is looking for leadership, they must form an opposition caucus, which is by the way separate from the leader of opposition. And trust me, even in, a, in parliament right now, the cabinet, the shadow cabinet, if he passes a, a resolution, sometimes the, the opposition caucus also sits to see if it can follow or not. It means that even parliament within the structures, there is an opposition caucus and there is a caucus of the shadow cabinet. So, what Honorable Rumu is bringing is in bad heart. In fact, Kiza Besje expound on this by saying these statements. Opposition is not just a party. It's a program. It's a party program that has been developed and supported most by the country. So, you cannot seek to elect from all the parties a leader of the official opposition. I am simply saying why this is ill intention. The argument that, you see, there is difference between leading the opposition in the parliament and the opposition caucus of parliament. All the members in parliament can form a caucus and get a leader for it, for the caucus. Mm. That is not the rope. That is Kizaresji. Okay. Even a one-year-old kid, when he, read, he reads through this bill, you clearly see the jealousy against NUP and Jerry Sonyoni. Okay. To an extent that it was given a green light by Speaker Nita Mong after ban barring others from making case in the guru sittings. Okay? So for me, I think Honorable Rumu is doing a wrong thing. He's trying to water down the opposition. In fact, at one time he came out to say that NUP is going to be in government after 2026. So they must not worry. It's not about who is going to be in government. You must make a law that is good for you in the opposition and also that it will be good for you even if you are in government and you have others in the opposition. Allah should not have eyes. It seems that Rumu's bill has eyes against Honorable Senyon. And there is no doubt that even if it passes as is, the Constitutional Court will shoot it down. Take that to the bank.
Of course, that's my opinion. Do me a comment by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.